Matthew, the ninth chapter, the 36th verse, Jesus says, but when he saw, the text says, but when he saw the multitudes, the Bible says he was moved with what? Compassion for them because they were weary and scattered like sheep having no shepherd. I'm in the next verse. And the next verse says, then he said to his disciples, the harvest is truly plentiful, but we have a problem. What's the problem? The reapers are few. And that's a, that's a problem we have in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. the, the harvest is truly plentiful, but the reapers are few. That's a problem in the church. We have many members in the church, but those who are involved are few. Woo. Can I say that one more time? Yeah, we have many members in the church. And by the way, I, I don't know, if, is, is that true for Nairobi Central? I don't know. We, we have many members in the church, but those who are involved are few. And, and by the way, if it is true here in Nairobi, it has been true for a very long time because Jesus pointed it out then. In other words, what God is saying, the har by the way, when, when we talk about harvest, it means harvest means we have come to the end of the agricultural year. Am I right? We have come to that end and now it's time for reaping. And God says, I think I need, I need help for the purpose of reaping. Let me say that one more. This is the cry from heaven. I need help in Nairobi to do some reaping of souls. I need help in evangelism. I need help. And the question that we're going to ask ourselves is, Lord, how can I help? And by the way, is there any prerequisites? Is there any qualification? Or are you open to anybody to join the team? Mm. So the text says, verse 38, Jesus says, therefore, to the disciples, he said, you know what, guys? Let's pray to the Lord of harvest so that he will send out laborers in his harvest. And the question, I probably could end the sermon by starting with it. How many of you, as members of the church, are willing and prepared to get involved ah because being a member of the church is not going to be sufficient to take you into the kingdom and so the text says he sent out his disciples and that's matthew chapter 10 verse 1 after he told the disciples that the laborers are few he said to them guys you have to go out and help mm -hmm. so he sent out the disciples when he had called his 12 disciples to him he gave them power over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all kinds of sicknesses and all kinds of diseases. So if there's anybody in the church this afternoon who is a little uncertain and not too sure whether you're capable of helping Christ in these last days, what I want to put out to you, all Jesus needs from you is a willing heart to say, Lord, here am I, send me. Amen. All he needs is somebody to say, here am I, send me, because he already knows your weaknesses. He already knows your shortcoming. He already knows your limitation. He just wants somebody to say, here am I, send me. And when you do that, when you sign up to be involved, the Bible says he will give you power over unclean spirits. Can the church say amen? He'll give you power to cast them out and also power to do what else? To heal all kinds of sicknesses and diseases. Amen. But he needs somebody to volunteer first. 